cyclist. We're gonna catch some male crocodiles. Oh, we! Super yeah. stoked! And some really big ones. I can basically put in like two of me can fit in the whole crocodile. Let's do this. Little handful of cute little Nile crocodiles. Hey, 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 don't bite me. <laughs> don't bite each other or me. And go, guys. Here we go. This one's super yellow. Look at that. Hey, don't bite me. Don't bite me. The power of this three meter crocodile is absolutely incredible. It pulls us like it doesn't even feel us at the end of its tail. Such powerful animals, even for such a small size. These animals can get twice the size of this female that I'm tugging right here. Beautiful animals. Now crocodiles are responsible oh, for the most deaths by a large predator in the whole of Africa. It was once believed that hippos were responsible for more deaths than crocodilians. However, that has changed. Crocodiles, because of such ambush ability, they are responsible for the most deaths in the whole of Africa. Second to the mosquitoes. It's beautiful Nile crocodiles. Ah, it's tiring. <laughs> Did you hear that? Such incredible jaw power, chomping down at 3000 psi. Just to give you an indication, you only need 150 psi to tear into a stake. Even the power of these small Nile crocodiles is insane, as it escapes here from my mate Izzy. Now look at those pearly whites. Crocodiles have the ability to regrow their teeth that fall out. No harm in having a little fun every now and then. Whee! Check out their little vocal cords inside of their mouth there. Vocal cords alter the airflow as they dilate and vibrate to make that call. Like, eh, eh. pretty cute little crocs. All those vocal cords in there. That noise is a defense to call their big mommy to protect them. You're calling your mommy on me? No, I'm not hurting you. Don't worry, guys. These are such soft little crocs compared to other caimans in that with heavy osteoderms. These guys don't have as much behind their necks. Pretty cute. Let's let them go. You'll hear me referring to osteoderms quite a lot. Osteoderms are free floating bone in the crocodile's scoot. Absolutely soft. What's interesting about the Nile crocodiles is if you come feel the back feet of them, Feel how squishy the back feet of the crocodiles are. It's pretty soft, yeah, it's in soft. my opinion. It's pretty cool. Awesome little guys. We are currently in the Nile Croc yeah. incubator. Mm -hmm. Pretty hot in here, to say the least. Yeah. And humid as well. But it's quite nice, I enjoy it. Not for a long yeah. period of time though. Let's feed some big Nile Crocs. Don't think we'll be catching today. Plans have changed a bit because of the heat. But that's okay, let's feed them. Gotcha. Ah. Great catch. Go. Good dog. Yeah, good dog. To say the least, these animals are nothing like dogs. Unless nice your dog catch. can chomp down at over 3000 psi. Don't treat them like a dog because they're not a dog. Incredibly powerful and sophisticated hunters these animals are. They love to wait at the water's edge for you to come up close and wham, they'll get you. Okay guys, I'm going to be looking between you and the crocodiles constantly and when I look at you I'm looking at the screen to see if anything's happening with the crocodiles but I just wanted to give a quick mention on why I think crocodile farms are actually important and that's because plainly they have saved thousands of crocodiles or hundreds of crocodiles in the wild from becoming extinct because if crocodiles weren't farmed then they would be poached out of the wild and we don't want to put any pressure on our wild population so even though it's a sad thing that these animals have to be you know the sad part is they have to be killed in that because humans want their parts in that so i find that really sad but at the end of the day it's saving the wild animals and that is a good thing so crocodile farms yes less than ideal conditions but they're saving 
thousands of crocodiles. So in my eyes, I think they're absolutely amazing. Crocodile farms are just, it's basically, it, it's basically conservation through commercialization because otherwise they'd be poached and then they could become extinct. But these croc farms that are producing thousands of babies a year are feeding that market that people want their leather and their products. And I don't know if you know, but like a whole lot of skin products and tons of different stuff comes from crocodiles. So even creams and all of that, a lot of crocodiles have gone into producing those. So it's quite amazing and I really love croc farms for saving our wild crocodiles. Yes, I know, maybe less than ideal housing and enclosures, but it's still a win for conservation. Let's see if we can throw... Hey, don't bite each other! I gotta take some of the food from this side because I'm not risking going close to the crocs to get the food from that end. Okay. Oh, you're opening your mouth for me, thank you. There we go. Now that was a great catch. These animals have the incredible Ready? ability to hit any target they so choose of striking go. at. Come on. Something intimidating about the crocodiles is they actually love to stalk oh. you. Maybe they can get a nice little chomp out of you is what they're thinking of. Come guys. Incredibly intimidating and deserve the utmost respect. But hey. It's a good thing to stay on your toes every now and then, isn't it? They all look so cute and cuddly. Here's a big boy. That's absolutely huge. Look at that massive head. Now this, I'm not gonna lie, is the most intense, scariest part of the whole day for me. Walking in between nesting females. Females are incredibly protective over their nests. And they'll even charge at you. Okay, so we're looking for a big crocodile to catch. I don't know which one it is, but we're looking for the one. And there's ones eyeing us out left, right and center. Pretty sketchy, but awesome. <laughs> Okay, so we're catching the crocs now. Ah, just missed it. Okay, so gonna noose the croc now. Slowly. Come on. Oh, brakes are off. There she rolls. Okay, we'll try again and find another croc. Now, must be quiet. There we go, almost. Ooh, it chomps down on it. We gotta let it go. We don't wanna get the animal around the top jaw. We wanna get the noose around the neck. Slowly. Slowly. Ah, naughty girl. Let's see if we can get this nesting female. Got to first get the noose around the neck. Check how she did a little bluff charge there. Saying, hey, this is my babies, leave them alone. And just rip, just like that. The stick is broken in two, just like a twig. Now this is something you should never try, unless you have tons and tons of experience. Don't try this at home. Or anything in this video for that fact. Ah, oh, it's stuck on a knot. The noose is stuck. Just great. Gotta try get the noose free now. Free from the knot. Okay, getting ready to help. Did you hear that? Wow, it's pumping. Okay, we gotta get ready. I can see the crocodile. I can only see the tail right now.
Almost. Almost. And there we go. We've got to move quickly now. We don't want this cock to hurt itself. Get it off the wall as quick as possible. And there we go. I jump over the wall to help. There, it's thrashing around. We don't want it to hurt itself. Oh. Ah, there it Man. goes. Oh, it's so close. Okay, now it should hopefully work. Let's, let's see. Yeah, take two. You guys stoked to catch this cock? <laughs> I'm stoked. It's growling from that ending closure over there. Just watching the water. Another nesting female. Okay. There we go, we're all on the rope, we're all ready. Okay, watch them go. Go, go, go! Let's go. She's going into the death roll now, we've got to move her off the concrete as quick as possible. We don't want her to damage her scoots or any of her osteoderms. Get her onto the soil as quick as possible. Perfect noose though. There we go. Good. Go. Well, okay. Must I let go? And there she thrashes as soon as she feels a bit of release. Thank you. We don't want her to hurt her jaw. Generally the crocs death roll okay. when they have a top jaw rope on. Not so much when it's around their neck. That's why we prefer that method. Thank you. She's tiring it's out very it. quickly. Okay. Watch out by the water. She had a huge burst of energy. Because of the heat. Guys, this is exhilarating. Okay. <laughs> okay. DIY blindfold. Here we come. No way. All getting ready. Nice jump. And just like okay. that, we caught a three meter the legs. Nile crocodile. All sorts of. Wow. Chubby big girl. No. Not easy at all. Okay, so the legs are right on me right now, so it doesn't get away. Yeah. Huge osteodomes. That's basically what these bony plates are. Hopefully you can see it. Okay, got this. This is a huge female crocodile. Check at those feet. <sighs> I must say, sitting on the crocodile, you realize how intense those osteoderms are. It's poking holes through my butt. Look at that armored plating body. Yeah, this is insane. <laughs> Cheapest. I'm literally lost for words right now. Just in awe of this beautiful animal. Okay, gonna release. Isn't she just gorgeous? Okay. Now for the release. As you can see, the legs are on my lap, so she hasn't got any opportunity yeah. to push away I from us. It. Yeah, I got one. It's always handy having your Leatherman around to cut crocs free yeah. of the noose. Hashtag not sponsored. Yeah. But hey, Leatherman, reach yeah. out. I'm down. <laughs> Watch out. Thank you. Let's put that. That's easy. Hey. Even though she's tired right now, we've got to take the utmost precautions to ensure everybody's safety. Um, She's extremely exhausted right now because she's had to burst out all her energy. Because in her mind, we were trying to kill her and she was trying to get away from us with all her energy. Okay, cutting the rope now, so... That's why she put up such a strong fight. Especially in this heat. Yes. Okay. Okay, get ready One, to jump two, off. Three. And that was a terrible jump off, not there coordinated at there all. There it goes. But luckily she's tired. Ah, thanks for that exhilarating experience. Thank you so much for filming for me. Wow. Was that was crazy, eh? Cool. Ooh. Wow. My heart rate is like pumping like crazy. That was absolutely insane. Many more to come. 
Okay, so it took seven of us to get that three meter crocodile moving and that thing was pulling all of us. We couldn't even like do anything, that was insane. Imagine what a five meter plus crocodile would do to you when you try and catch it. Absolutely awesome. Slowly moving in. Never get this close to the edge of water with crocodiles in it. So guys, something behind me over here that you don't see all that often are hypo-nile crocodiles. These are absolutely stunning animals. Can't believe like something like this actually occurs. I did find one in the wild a while ago. If you go back on my channel, I'll put up a video now of a kind of hypo wild Nile crocodile that was about three meters or so in the wild. And that's pretty cool too. Such amazing crocs. What an epic day it has been to spend with these amazing animals. The ground here is just absolutely boiling. It's flipping hot and it's nearly our winter. So you can imagine how hot it gets here in summer. And these Nile crocodiles absolutely love the heat. Hey, and never, never do what I'm about to do. Just like that, they burst out of there the water. See why you don't go close to the water's edge? Awesome, isn't that? Just like that, they've disappeared. Whoa, guys, what an epic day that was. I had such a blast. One of the coolest experiences yet that I've had. And many more of these to come. Hopefully we'll get to catch some massive wild Nile crocodiles. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just quickly, go down and click that link that says the norm. They make some of the most incredible the most incredible reptile related t-shirts around and easy from the norm hooked me up with coming on this trip and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much bro. So they ship worldwide, have amazing apparel, reptile related anything. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new and please go down in the comments below and type what was your favorite moment. Lastly, support me on Patreon. It helps me get to these places and share this awesome experience with you guys because petrol does cost money or gas as you say in America. Thanks guys for watching. Remember to go out, learn, explore, inspire. Bryce from Righteous Reptiles. Cheers.